good morning my dear students welcome to the discussion on the topic projection of solids axis inclined to both the planes under this we are discussing now tetrahedron problem this is the sixth solved problem under projection of solids axis inclined to both the planes now we will see what do you mean by tetrahedron what do you mean by tetrahedron a tetrahedron is a special type of triangular pyramid in which base sides and slant edges are equal in length and it is a solid of four equilateral triangular faces and six equal length edges and four vertex corners like cube it is also described by one dimension only that is length of the side in general most of the problems axis length is not given this is the tetrahedron here a b c o are the corners of a tetrahedron that is it is having four corners then a b c is one face o a b is another face o b c is another face O A C is another face, and each face is a equilateral triangular, and it is having four faces. Then O A, O B, O C are slant edges. A B, B C, A C are base edges. That is, it is having six edges of same length. Now we'll move into the problem this is very very important problem and it was asked many times under jntu and anna university examinations the given problem is a tetrahedron of 50 mm long edges is resting on one edge on hp while one triangular face containing this edge is vertical and 35 degrees inclined to vp draw projections now we'll write the data from this given problem the name of the object is tetrahedron and side length is 50 mm the edge on hp and triangular face is vertical that is the given condition in the problem edge which is on hp is inclined at 35 degrees to the vp that is this edge or side inclination with vp is equal to 35 degrees now we'll move towards initial assumption of the tetrahedron for simple position the assumption for initial position here in the problem it is mentioned that the tetrahedron is resting on its side on hp and side containing face say obc is vertical then the axis is not perpendicular to hp so the true image of the base is not visible in the top view actually in the case of solids we need to start with true image of the base so true image of the base is not visible in this condition so in order to get the true image of the base what we need to do we need to keep the tetrahedron in such a way that the base abc is on hp so that this axis is perpendicular to hp that is here the edge bc is on hp and edge containing the triangular face obc is vertical so the axis of the solid is not perpendicular to the hp and base is not parallel or on hp true image of the base is not visible in top view so we need to start with true image of the base for that what we will do we are assuming the tetrahedron is such a way that the axis is perpendicular to the hp and the base is on hp with one side of the base bc is kept perpendicular to the xy line in top u preferably to lie on the right side not if the solid is required to be placed with an edge of the base on h initially the solid has to be placed with its base on hp such that an edge of the base is perpendicular to vp here this abc base is on hp and bc is 
perpendicular to xy line that is abc is the base of the tetrahedron which is on hp and side of the base say bc is perpendicular to the xy line this is the initial assumption in this assumption the axis is perpendicular to the hp so that base is parallel to the hp that is in the initial assumption as a first step we will draw top u the top u is a equal triangle with images of the slant line say oa ob oc that is draw top u equal triangle with images of slant lines and, and related front u for the given tetrahedron in the initial position now we'll move towards brief overview of the solution the solution of the tetrahedron problem is divided into three stages stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 in the case of first stage it is a initial position assumption in this position we are assuming tetrahedron is resting on its base on hp that is abc base is on hp so drop top u abc is a equilateral triangle image then in addition to that oa ob oc images are also visible in the top u oa ob oc are the slant lines then after drawing the top u then we will draw front u after drawing the front u then we will draw second stage front u in the case of second stage front u the face o dash b dash c dash is to be tilted such that it is going to be vertical that is the first stage front u is to be redrawn in such a that this o dash b dash c dash face is going to be vertical after drawing this front u then we will draw related top u this is second stage solution after drawing the second stage top u then the side which is on hp say b1 c1 is to be tilted with an angle of 35 degrees to the vp that is we are copying the second stage top u in such a way that the side bc which is on hp to be tilted with an angle of 35 degrees to the vp so that we will get third stage top u image like this then from this we will draw final front u the final front u is the outcome of the third stage top u as well as second stage front u this is the final required front u that's about brief overview of the solution now we'll move towards detailed solution as a first step draw xy line assume the tetrahedron is resting on hp on one of its faces with an edge perpendicular to vp so draw top view of the tetrahedron that is equilateral triangle with one side perpendicular to xy line and preferably that side kept right side the side length is given in the problem as 50 mm so draw 50 mm side which is perpendicular to the xy line then construct the equilateral triangle in the top u 50 mm as a radius one end of the side as a center draw an arc another end of the side as a center with the same radius draw an arc name this intersection point as a and this point as b and this is c then join ab ac abc is the equilateral triangle locate the center of the equilateral triangle how to locate the center of the equilateral triangle for that say locate the midpoint of AC side, that point is to be joined to the opposite corner, say B. Similarly, locate the midpoint of the AB side. Then this midpoint is to be joined to the opposite corner, C. Those two lines are meeting at a particular point called O. Then 
O is the center of the equilateral triangle and also it is the image of the axis in top O. Now join OA, OB, OC. This OA, OB and OC are the images of slant lines in top O. This is the image of the tetrahedron in top U when it is resting on its face say ABC on HP and one of its sides say BC is perpendicular to the XY line. OA is the image of the slant line in top U. OB is the image of the another slant line in top U. OC is the image of the another slant line in top U. After that project the corresponding front view. So draw projectors through A, B and C, through O, then as the tetrahedron is resting on its face ABC on HP. So it image falls on the XY line. So here this is A dash and this is B dash and C dash. Here A dash, B dash, C dash line is on XY line. Why it is on XY line? Because the tetrahedron face ABC is on HP. That's why it image falls on the XY line. Here OA, OB, OC are the images of the slant line in top U. If you observe it, OC is not parallel to XY line, OB not parallel to XY line, whereas OA is parallel to XY line. That is OA slanted image in the top view is parallel to XY line, then this becomes the true length of the slant line. Axis height is not given. Then how to find the axis height? Just observe. With A dash as a center, one of the face side as a radius, that is 50 mm as a radius, draw an arc on the axis line, name this point as O dash then join A dash and O dash B dash and O dash O dash A dash is the true length of the slant length in front view whereas O dash B dash and O dash C dash are not true length of the slant lines in front view. The true length of the slant line in front view is nothing but whose image in the top view is parallel to the XY line. Drawing first stage top view as well as front view is completed then we will move to the second stage. Because BC is on HP, that's why its image in the front view falls on the XY line, that is B dash, C dash falls on the XY line. Then the side BC is on HP and this O dash, B dash, C dash face is to be tilted so that it is going to make an angle 90 degrees to the HP. So draw this O dash B dash C dash line as a vertical that is perpendicular to the XY line.
after drawing vertical line then with compass b dash o dash as a radius b dash as a center draw an arc name this point as o dash then we need to draw a dash corner for that o dash a dash as a radius o dash as a center draw an arc similarly b dash a dash as a radius b dash as a center cut this arc name this point as a dash then join a dash o dash a dash b dash then dark b dash o dash line then locate this axis point also so b dash and this distance drawing second stage front view is completed then we'll move towards drawing the second stage top view for that what we'll do draw projectors through a dash b dash c dash o dash vertically down and draw locus lines through first stage top view point say a b c o towards right after that locate the intersection points in the second stage top u here through a dash this is the projector coming through a this is the locus line coming both are intersecting at a particular point namely a1 then through b dash this is the projector coming and this is the locus line for b both are intersecting at a particular point called b1 similarly we will get c1 o1 after that draw all outside points with continuous lines say a b c all outside points with continuous lines then this is the direction of top u then for the observer oa face edge is nearer that's why it is visible so dark oa face edge in top u that is o1 a1 in the third stage the side say bc which is on hp to be tilted with an angle of 35 degrees to the vp so that entire solid is to be tilted such that the side bc is making an angle 35 degrees to the vp 
so draw 35 degrees inclination line after drawing the inclined line locate a point b1 then b1 c1 as a radius draw an arc on this inclined line name this point as c1 then b1 a1 as a radius b1 as a center draw an arc then c1 a1 also with the same radius so c1 as a center draw another arc both are intersecting at a particular point a1 then join a1 b1 a1 c1 c1 d1 then locate o1 point also so b1 O1 as a radius, draw an arc, name this point as O1, drawing the third stage top view is completed, now we will move towards drawing the final front view, for that what we will do? Draw projectors through A1, B1, O1, C1 towards the vertical plane and draw locus lines through O dash, A dash, B dash, C dash towards right. Then locate the intersection points. This is the direction of front view. So, as a first step, join all outer points with continuous lines. For the observer, A1, B1 is nearer whereas O1C1 is nearer to the XY line. So, the sides which are nearer to the observer are visible and the sides which are nearer to the XY line are invisible. So, dark A1 dash B1 dash line that is draw continuous solid line joining A1 dash and B1 dash. Here, a1 B1 side is nearer to the observer that's why it image in the front you say A1 dash B1 dash is a solid line that is continuous line whereas O1 C1 side is away from the observer and which is nearer to the XY line so it is not visible that's why draw O1 dash C1 dash line as a dotted line. because it is invisible then join this point to this point that indicates the axis line this is the final front view of the tetrahedron when it is resting on its edge BC is on HP and edge containing face is vertical and the edge which is on HP is making an angle 35 degrees to the VP because edge is on HP that's why this BC edge image in the final front view is on XY line that is C1 dash B1 dash is on XY line.
this is the first stage solution here the tetrahedron is kept on one of its face on hp and face containing edge say bc is kept perpendicular to the xy line this is the second stage solution in this stage the edge bc is kept perpendicular to the xy line and which is on hp and edge containing the face say obc is kept vertical this is the final stage solution in this stage we tilted the side which is on hp say bc with an angle of 35 degrees to the vp with that we got final solution image like this here the length of the side of a tetrahedron is equal to 50 mm that is all dimensions are in millimeters that's about the solution for the given problem if you have any queries or doubts you can write under comment section below this video i'll clarify them visit again for more videos on engineering graphics using the links provided under description of this video keep learning and knowledge sharing thank you for watching